Sawadee Krap, and welcome to the final Phuket Extra for 2017. I'm JP Mistanza, and it's Friday, December 29th. Here's the news you need to know. 2018 is almost here, and the nation is heading straight into a four-day holiday, starting tomorrow up until and including Tuesday, January 2nd, meaning several key government offices will be closed around Phuket. This year, the Royal Thai government has decreed one extra day, Tuesday, January 2nd, to be a public holiday as well to allow many Thai people to head back to their home province to celebrate the new year. But this also means that the immigration office, the district offices, the employment offices, and local land transport offices will all be closed on Monday and Tuesday, including main bank branches, though the bank branches at big malls will stay open. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And a Thai man is alleging that a monk stabbed him in an unprovoked attack in the Nakert Hills in Chelong earlier this week. The alleged attack happened on Wednesday shortly after 2 p.m. when 44-year-old Adam Sukasem told police that a monk who lives in a nearby temple in Chelong allegedly came into his room, got him in a headlock, and eventually attacked him with a knife, resulting in a deep cut on his left arm. It's one man's word against the other, however, as the monk was summoned for questioning and later told police that he had simply tried to speak with the alleged victim about loud noise when the confrontation ensued and the monk allegedly stabbed him in self-defense, allegedly. Police are investigating to see whether any charges will be pressed against either party. And the first day of the New Year's Seven Days of Danger campaign is over. And thankfully, there were no deaths on any of Phuket's roads, though six people were injured in six accidents, all involving motorcycles and mostly included alcohol. Police confirmed with the Phuket News that six accidents happened yesterday with six people suffering just minor injuries. And now Phuket Governor Norapa Plotong is ordering police to test for alcohol in every accident during the safety campaign. In 24 hours, police also issued 570 fines, mostly for people not wearing their helmets while on a motorbike. The New Year Seven Days of Danger campaign will end at midnight on January 3rd. Stay up to date with the latest stats each and every day on thepuketnews.com. And sit tight, Phuket Asher will be right back after this. Tong's favorite steakhouse for the past 20 years. For more, find Sam's Steaks and Grill on Facebook. When you think of steaks, think Sam's. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. It was a horrific night for a volunteer police officer in Sakelp earlier this week as his body was found trampled to death by a suspected elephant in a sugarcane field. The body of 52-year-old Ampai Wunakul was found covered with blood, pounded partly into the ground in the field, surrounded by many elephant footprints. The man was helping villagers and other officials drive away a wild elephant from his community in the daytime, and when night fell, he continued doing exactly that, but by himself this time, and police suspect that his flashlight may have startled the elephant. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And finally, while Toon Body Slam has completed his 2,000 odd kilometer charity run earlier this week from the south to the north of Thailand, another charity run is in the works in the opposite direction and it's all to create awareness of the soldiers who died during their duty protecting the far south from the insurgency. 52 year old police senior sergeant major Plam Promjumpa is a retired official who has already run over 2,000 kilometers from Chiang Rai in the north to Yala in the deep south back in 2005, but he plans on doing it again starting in April. In fact, this will be the third time he's run the route, according to reports, but this time he plans to wear 7 kilogram weights on his ankles to increase the difficulty, and it's all dedicated to the men and women in service as well as the teachers who have all sacrificed their lives in the southern insurgency. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. If you're watching us on YouTube at thepuketnews.com, you can check out all these stories on the links below. We'll leave you with these visuals of actress Lindsay Lohan, who was recently bitten by a snake during a hike here in Phuket. She's apparently been staying at Trisara Resort in northern Phuket. From the looks of it, she's recovering just fine. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. We'd like to wish you a safe and happy new year. Until Tuesday, stay classy, Phuket.
buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sawadikap. We are ready to provide international medical service with Warm Thai Hospitality. Call us at 1719.